Welcome to Backwards News. Rants you can trust. Warning, this is a rant channel. All persons in this video are real and the events are factual. Satirical speech may be used to comment and criticize on subjects. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Let's do this. Let's do this. I got a sad story. We going to Ann Arbor, Michigan. And it's a sad story. Ann Arbor is a college town. So everybody there wants to be smart and they want to go to the future. So they messed up. They messed up. If you can hear the sound of my voice as of right now, Ann Arbor City Council has banned banned the sale of fur coats in the city limits. They are against fur. Somehow, the Humane Society said we have to save the animals. I don't want the animals to die. The animals need their fur. It's cold outside. And the Humane Society wiggled their way in to some type of discussion. And you cannot buy a new, you cannot buy a new fur coat. And as soon as these fur coats run out, there will be no more fur in Ann Arbor. No, leave that, save the animals. The animals need their fur coat. When you cut up cut up them chickens and cows, take their fur and bury it and give them a memorial. And you better not take that fur and make a coat or a hat or some shoes or humane society is going to get in your butt. One of the spokesmen for the humane society, Molly Tamovich, says we had to step in and help direct these dummies and they did the right thing <laughs> we have to work for the welfare of the animals and if you don't know michigan is one of the capitals for produ fur producing capitals in the united states and molly says she hopes all the rest of the cities in Michigan will follow suit and leave those fur coats alone. Let the animals keep their fur. Let all of them live long as they want to live without the threat of their fur becoming a fur coat. Oh, this damn dummy. <laughs> What's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? I need that fur coat. I love fur. So... If you you are any place in Ann Arbor, Michigan, no fur for you. Go get you a vinyl hat and some plastic shoes, and I'll get you a recycled coat made from garbage bags from the landfill. That and they smell like oil and vomit. And you can wear that. That's what you can wear. No fur coats. I'm tired of you rich people. No fur coats. If you are caught with selling fur coats, they're going to treat you like you done sold some crack or some dope. Do not try to sell a brand new fur coat in Ann Arbor. You will be in jail. That's the, it's the black market. The black market. If you can buy a fur coat, and Ann Arbor is brand new. You, you are a black market salesman. So I don't know. Somebody tell me how you feel the comment. Because I, I, I like fur. I love it. 
I don't have a fur coat. I would like to have a fur coat. I, I don't have that kind of money. Okay, this this is how it starts out. Not you can't buy a fur coat. A couple of years from now, you you won't be able to buy red meat. Then you won't be able to buy pop. Then you can only have an electric car. Then you have to drink out of a bucket, a plastic bucket or something. They're gonna keep going and keep going, and and you will not have a choice to do nothing. You'll be forced to do everything. All right. Talk to you next time on Backwards News.